What would you do if this happened to you? In recent months, clashes between man and animal have been making the rounds on social media. Uh, my encounter was in Bukit Timah. I was holding a pack of NTC bags, so I was uh, being marked by a group of monkeys. And the moment they see the plastic bag, they run after me. Then I have to dump the plastic bag and get myself away from them. The long-tailed macaque a commonly seen species of monkey in Singapore, with a population of approximately 1,500, according to a study done in 2012. This macaque is one of our native primate species and a fundamental part of Singapore's biodiversity. Chanel, who is a staff at N Parks, has agreed to be my guide for the day. She will be bringing me around Dairy Farm Nature Park to tell me more about the flora and fauna and especially the topic of the day, the long-tailed macaques. So Chanel, um, I know macaques are very fascinating animals, but it seems that recently macaques and humans, they have a bit of like problems, confrontations. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, so macaques are actually one of our three non-human primates that are native to Singapore. So the other two being your Raffles Bennett Langer and your Slow Loris. They are very adaptable, generalist type of um, animals. So that's why you see them quite often around the urban areas and the fringes of the forest because nowadays estates, residential areas are very close to nature areas. Um, sometimes um, when you see macaques coming out of the forest, they're usually actually the lone transient male macaques. What advice do you have for citizens when they do meet macaques? Okay, so when they're in the nature reserve or nature parks or parks, any forest parcels, um, always you know, it's usually advisable to keep a distance away, um, observe them from a safe distance, usually one to two metres away. Don't carry any plastic bags with you. Try to keep them inside a backpack if possible. Try not to stare directly at them because that's usually when they get a little bit more threatened or frightened. So always keep a distance away. Be calm, just ignore safely, pass by the monkeys. What advice do you have for citizens when they do face hostile macaques? So in terms of like macaques grabbing and snatching, so when that happens, typically what it, it, it in the heat of the moment, I usually try not to you know throw food or give the macaques food in that moment mm -hmm. because sometimes the macaques might, might come back because they associate the area with food. So what do end parks normally do when they get reports of macaques that are misbehaving? So usually most of our feedback. I would say majority of them are usually just like citing cases. So like for example, someone calls in and say, hey, I see a macaque passing by or it's around the roadside. So, but uh, maybe like a smaller proportion will be actual reported, like as, as you mentioned, are more bolder behavior types of um, in interactions. So we do def definitely do this advisory approach. So we'll go down to the residents' houses or give them a call just to let them know, hey, what other future preventive measures can you take to prevent you know, further encounters from coming. So we take a more advisory approach. So in Singapore, our long-tailed macaques are very important for our ecosystem. They help to disperse our seeds in the forest. And because they're so important for Singapore and the forest, I mean, they're definitely here to stay. Please don't feed them. Try, try to keep a distance away and, you know, observe them and enjoy them respectfully as well. Yeah, I heard that, guys. The macaques are here to stay. This is Bruce for Singapore One.